I'm going to answer a question that I'm honestly curious what the answer is myself. Is Armored Core a dead series? Now, the short answer is no, since there is a new game on the way, but the real answer is a bit more complicated. Allow me to explain by first going into the history of the series. Armored Core is a third-person mech action game series developed by From Software, the creators of the Dark Souls games, Elden Ring, Sekiro, and other various franchises notable for their difficulty or their Souls-like formula. Armored Core started with the first game on the original PlayStation back in 1997. Then the series continued with at least one game per year until 2013's Armored Core Verdict Day, except for the lack of games in 98 and uh, 2011. Armored Core was a brainchild of Hitadaka Miyazaki, who was a director for the Armored Core games until he switched over to working on the Dark Souls franchise, which has become quite a staple of the gaming world. Now, the gameplay in the background is my own playthrough of Armored Core Nexus. Uh, released in 2004 for the PlayStation 2, it was one of the first video games I ever played personally on my dad's old PS2 Slim, which, by the way, is still alive and kicking to this day. Now, this is the game that I will ultimately use as my representation of the expectations of the already established community, since it is one of the games directed by Miyazaki, whose name is inconsistently spelled in my script. While I'm on the subject of breaking the fourth wall, I might as well ask you to like the video and subscribe. I'm starting to lean towards a more informative format for my videos, but don't worry, I'll still make the clip compilations. And my shorts are basically just memes. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. The Armored Core games have a relatively simple gameplay loop. Go on missions, earn currency, upgrade mech, do more missions, and the cycle continues. What separates Armored Core from any other mission-based action game is the customization that is so in-depth, I'm surprised there aren't many in-depth videos about Armored Core builds on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe that's a niche I could attempt to fill, who knows. The customization is special because you can not only customize the aesthetic of your machine with the different colors and different paint patterns, each individual part serves its purpose in the ecosystem that is your system. You can choose all the individual parts down to the generator and the radiator, which you need to balance with the power draw of your mech, and you need legs that'll support the weight of everything you have. The head of the mech has to have all the scanners and such that you need. And then there's a large arsenal of weapons, from handguns to shotguns to missile launchers to cluster missiles, that's a war cry, to vertical missiles to laser weapons. The customization in this game is so intense and set up so you can see the mission briefing and then you go and equip your mech accordingly to fit the mission to get through with the least amount of damage possible. Not to mention the soundtrack. I mean, listen to this futuristic piece. Now, this is all well and good, but how does it answer our question? Well, Miyazaki was the director of the Armored Core games until the fifth one, and then the games kind of went downhill. They started focusing more on the multiplayer aspect than the story, which is all about, you know, companies hiring you as a mercenary against e the other companies to become the most dominant company or political power in the area. The Armored Core customization got a lot better with the visual aspect, but the parts list got smaller and they simplified the building process, which kind of ruined the idea of, of making it complicated for the players to actually figure out everything the way the older games had it. Armored Core's difficulty really came not with the combat, but with the design of a mech that could get you through the individual combat situations. For instance, if you're in a large open area and you are going to have many of a certain enemy, then you can be like, oh, let me equip this vertical cluster missile. Or if you're going to be in tight corridors, you know, have a little a little DMR type weapon. And that was the magic of the game. You, you weren't constrained to build your mech one way. You had to adapt your mech and your play style for the different situations that you would get yourself into. Now, for the whole answer for the question at the beginning. Whether Armored Core is dead or not will depend on 
this new game coming out, Armored Core 6. Armored Core has not had an installment in the series in nine years. So if this new Armored Core doesn't live up to expectations, then Armored Core is as good as dead. It would probably retain, for the most part, its loyal fan base for the old games, but new people wouldn't really be getting into the series, and From Software would have to declare a series a loss. But that's just speculation. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new Armored Core game, or at least what we've seen of it. Bye! Detected. Area secured. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode.